welcome to Titan version 2.0. So, you may have seen, whoa, not a good start, my earlier attempt at a mod for Titan, uh, which was a prototype, and a number of you have left me various bits of really helpful feedback. Um, so, this is version 2.0, very similar, um, but with a few little twists. So, the first twist is... Um, I've cut down the amount of surface ore even more than there was before. Um, but there is quite a lot of ice. And you might be thinking, well, this game's never going to be playable. But, aha, I got you covered. I've also got us starting off with a deep miner and the kit to mine deep. Because I figure if you're going to get sent to Titan, uh, first of all, you've probably done something really bad. But um, you're probably going to get sent to Titan, at least with the ability to um, do something useful. All of the minerals and metals are in the subsurface. So you need the deep miner to get at those. Um, so we've got the normal base building kit here. Uh, and I'm going to get started. You can see the gravity is low, temperature is cold, the atmosphere is a beautiful mix of um, volatiles and nitrogen. Um, it's basically like a Vulcan at the temperature of Europa, or slightly colder. Um, so it's, it's fun. Um, I'm going to get this uh, platform put together and we're going to start some mining. Um, the good news is, um, obviously as you would expect from a reasonably thick um, atmosphere, um, we can generate some decent amounts of wind power, that's too close to the lander, now it's fallen over. Um, and the other good thing is in terms of power generation is that just like the real Titan, there is a lot of hydrocarbons kicking around, which equates basically to coal, although if I've done my job right with the mod, they'll actually be called hydrocarbons. So let's build the beginnings of a platform here. You can see every time we weld the uh, little bit of very thin burning, but uh, if you look at the temperature you'll notice it's not really doing anything. Um, so this is just a taster um, on this episode. Um, but I figure we'll uh, we'll see how we get on um, and show you how to get started um, on this slightly unconventional map. Um, right, okay. Um, so honestly, the first thing we're going to need to do is probably to get to a state that we can get some power and charge some batteries because it is very very cold. Um, so I'm going to actually put the generator up here, and I'm going to put an APC in here. Um, the other problem with this thin and cold atmosphere is that things do tend to blow away, so I'm actually going to stick that down there. Now, the other thing I provided in the industrial supplies container is a couple of upright wind turbines, if I can find them. Um, uh, not in the this one. In fact, this is the mining equipment which we are going to need. Um, it is in uh, here in place of the solar panels because who needs solar panels when you can't really see anything? So that's helpful in terms of getting some early power generation, but um, those deep miners take a lot of power. So um, whilst you might be thinking this is very generous, there's a lot of power coming through here, it's not going to last very long. Um, Oops. Oops, again, double whoops. That's a great start, isn't it? Right, there we go. Um, and into there. Okay, so that's fantastic. We can rapidly charge a battery or two now, which is good because, quite honestly, um, they ain't going to last very long at all in this environment. Um, right, let's get to work with the deep core miner because that's critical um, to be able to extract some resources from the core. Um, I'm going to put that, I'm going to turn it this way. Uh, I'm just going to be thoughtful about where I put this. Um, uh, these things are a nightmare to get to go where you want them. 
Um, I guess there. Yeah, let's do it. Right. So we do at least get all of the materials we need to make that. Um, if I can remember what we need in what order. Um, I think I need to... No, steel sheets first. Way. Okay, there we go. All good. Right, so that's the steel sheets. Um... And I need, what do I need to do with this? Something that I have not got enough hands for here. See, I'm already on critical power um, and I've barely started. Uh, what do we need? Screwdriver, probably. Yep, there we go. Right, and I actually don't have time to mess around doing anything there because I need to get that battery out of there really quickly and I need to keep this charged because. If that drops at any point, I am going to die. Right, you see, that's just ticking up slightly from those wind generators, so that's a good start. Um, I think it's now the... yep. Do, 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 do. Okay. Right, so that's the miner in place. Um, although I'm going to need to connect that up. It's not really an ideal position, um, but it'll have to do. We're going to connect that this side of the APC and get that across there. Click, 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 click. Obviously, I'm also going to need a centrifuge to be able to do anything useful with that, and that is the other piece of key equipment that we start with. Now that. Oh, it's not turned on over here. Um, it's all good, but that's going to use almost all the power that those are generating. So I'm going to need some hydrocarbons to fill this in order to get anything going. So we're going to be in a bit of a fun and games with power for a little while, but um, I'm not going to start that up quite yet. Um, but I do want to finish, get the centrifuge in place. Uh, we have got some extra cable which is helpful. Um, really I wanted to build it that way around. Um, I mean that would be ideal. Well, I say that would be ideal. It's kind of all in the way. I think I'm going to put it over here. Uh, it's a bit of a waste of cable but we have got extra cable so that is fine. Um, And I'm going to go down there. Would be being much more frugal if I did not have an extra 50. Right, so there we go. Um, let's get this done then. So um, let's go over there. Do that. And do... There we go. Right, now we have everything we need to actually do a bit of mining. Um... And obviously we're going to also still need to set up all the things we normally would, like an actual, uh, whoops, furnace. Um, and then obviously somewhere we're going to want a, an auto lathe. And actually, do you know what, I'm going to build some more platform because when the storms come, I shall be, whoops, I shall be grateful of that. Those, I think, go in there for now. You'll see we're already on power low. Hopefully that's got a bit of charge in it, but probably not very much. Right, so I'm just going to build an area here that I can literally just grab the key supplies off the lander. Oh. Doing anything in this environment is actually quite a challenge. Um, I want to be able to get 
actually seal an area in so that when the storms arrive in a day or two, well, a bit more than that, get until day five, don't we? But um, when the storms arrive, I've actually got somewhere to put my stuff. Because I reckon it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. Even if I haven't got a fully uh, enclosed base. And oh, I fell through the hole. I thought I'd welded them all, and I hadn't. This is the sort of thing that happens when you can't really see what you're doing. And um, that one in there, and weld that there, and put that away. Oh, I know I missed that one as well. Oh, I missed this whole run. I'm an idiot. Right, okay, let's do that, and that, and that. Okay, so, I mean, that will give a bit of space to uh, store some stuff. Um, it's a long way away from having anything like a uh, habitable sealed up base, but um, it'll do for a start. Let's grab all of those things because we are going to need to actually build something here. Um, right, and... Uh, I'll do them on the inside, we'll fix it up later. Um, I actually think I might be able to get away with one more here. Maybe not, we'll find out in a minute. Right, and we're going to need really space to put a bit of an airlock in here, aren't we? Oops. That's not actually been very neatly done, but never mind. Power critical. Oh. Okay, well, if power is critical, I have no more time for doing anything else. At least I've got 41% into there. Yeah, this is not very tidy, but never mind. Uh, and I'm missing one on the top there. Thank you. Right, okay. And then hopefully I've just about got enough iron sheets here. Uh, if I can figure out an order to do this so I can actually get the welder into my hand. To, uh, I'm not going to have enough iron sheets because whilst I can seal this, I'm going to be too sure. Oh, no, maybe I've got enough for the auto lathe. I might be lucky. I was going to put this just in here because otherwise it's just going to get destroyed in storms. Um, which is a bit of a nuisance, but... No, okay, just about going to work. Oops. Okay, there we go. Great. And then if I... Power critical again. Okay, well that's at least an enclosed area. Uh, not much power in there, is there? So I think the next problem is going to be I'm going to have to stop what I was doing and get out and do some mining rather quickly. Um, try and find some deposits of hydrocarbons. Lots of volatiles. Um, 
don't really want to go too far because I haven't got a lot of power. power exactly. Uh, there's some. I mean, the good thing is that the deposits are generous. The bad thing is they need to be. Get that in there. Turn that on. No, turn on. Turn on. Oh my god. Oh, that was close. Right, okay. It's not great, but it's a start. Um, sorry, I'm going to get this. Not even sure how much, how much charge that's going to actually give me, but hopefully that'll be enough. I'll go get a full stack or so. This is a problem, the batteries really don't last very long in this cold. Right, um, that's rocking away there. At least hopefully what I can do is get that lot inside somewhere safe. Right, okay, that's the end of that. Oof, that was just about to run out. Okay, um, right, let's go get some more. Oh, I thought I'd seen some there and I hadn't. So the good news is, as you can see, there's plenty of ice, but uh, equally the only uh, metals on the surface here are those that have been uh, deposited by the odd meteorite. Um, I really don't want to go too far at the moment. I don't have the power for it. Um, is that some? Yes it is. Let's get that oh, blown across the surface. It's a bit treacherous mining because it tends to uh, well, do this really. Um, it's kind of foggy. What I was really hoping for was the ability to make the whole atmosphere foggy, but uh, that doesn't appear to be possible within the limits of the uh, engine. But um, it obviously spawns in the atmosphere, which is at the liquidisation point of volatiles, that's power critical again, let's go go go. That's why I didn't want to go too far, although you'll notice I have got a good amount here now. Um, right, come on! 7%, 6%, 5%. Okay, that's at 4, this is at 3. I'll take it. As soon as that battery runs out, it's cold enough and a uh, thick enough atmosphere to conduct away the heat, so uh, you pretty much instantly receive fatal lung damage. So uh, it's, a, it's an interesting environment. Not where to choose to take my holidays. Um, right, okay, well, whilst that's actually starting to move in the right direction, let's see if I can. Uh, Get in here, it doesn't help this thing's fallen on its side really, but there we go. Um, I could actually build a proper airlock, but I think in the short term I'll, I'll be satisfied if I can put together a door. Right. Of course, while that's running, um, I could actually also get this starting to power up. You'll see it's still charging, but pretty slowly. Um, and obviously the one in my suit is still discharging. But there we go. Right, okay. Um, now I think it's time to attempt to get some of this stuff off the land, and not least because it's starting to rock around in a fairly hazardous manner and I'm 
little concerned it might just suddenly decide it's actually had enough of sticking around um, probably should have oh okay that's actually gonna go in that way is it okay interesting no that's that's actually got itself stuck now amazing whoa that's better yeah, I probably should have brought these in before I put the walls up, honestly, but there we go. Um, right, let's uh, let's lay in this power cable because that's going to need it. Power critical. And we're back to power critical again. But at least hopefully this time I've got enough power in that battery to do a bit more work before it goes again. Right. Slightly concerned about the angle of that crate. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work when it comes off. Whoa. Okay. Let's just try and get all of this stuff inside. Inside is safe. Kind of. Um. Going to have to get that oxygen tank off but let's do this first because if we lose those organic supplies we really are screwed come on pick up thank you probably yeah I should have just not installed the windows before doing this but never mind um, this is not really gone very straight at all has it no, okay. I thought in the low gravity it might be a little bit easier to handle, but apparently not. Oh, I thought it was going to land in the right place then. That would have been too easy, wouldn't it? Uh, can I get it? Yes, I can. Let's go, 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 go. That's good enough for me. It's a mess in here, but it's all in. Well, not all in, but it's getting all in. That really is a mess. Obviously, I can't build the doors yet because I need some steel sheets, but um, not steel sheets, iron sheets. Um, clonk. Clonk. Almost there. In fact, is that all of them? No, there's one left. I thought there should be a blue one. Just couldn't see it. Oof, nearly hit me on the head. Right. On the other hand, it's in the right place to just tow it in. Great. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a nightmare to operate, but at least it's all out of the way. The lander is now deciding to uh, right itself, conveniently. Um, actually, that is convenient because that means I can finish this piece of platform here, which I could not previously. Well, I can nearly finish it. I could finish it if it didn't think the lander was still there. But anyway, good. Right, that's the start. Um, let's flick that up there. That's run out. Let's check some more in there. So the other thing I'm going to want to do is to make sure that stuff doesn't fall off here and just get wasted. And I'm just going to need more space to move generally, so let's get those laid in at least and out of the way. And um, This is hardly a foolproof solution, but if I put that there, that's at least slight ridge on there that might stop things from rolling off right okay um so right let's see what i can go with oh that's why that was in the wrong place because i'm an idiot um open that let's put these things away at least now i've got a bit of space to move um Right. 
Right. Okay, now where's the rest of the cable in here? I think, yes. So let's get this laid in here. Obviously I'm going to need to connect this to the consumer side of the APC. Let's get that in there. Um, connect this here, so at least once I start to get some stuff coming through, I can do something useful with it. Oops. Right, there we go. Okay, so I've got a bit of cable left. This is a hell of a long way from self-sufficiency. I've got no food production. Um, and my power production is, um, well, ropey to say the least. But that is starting to move towards something usable. Right, and there's the first dirty ore coming out of there, so let's get that in there. Now once I spin this up we're really going to start burning power, I suspect. Yeah, you'll see this is now barely charging. But obviously it's essential. Um, and this is the going to be the trick, I think, at the beginning on this setup is going to be to be very careful with the power. Um, see where we get to. Right, that's everything off the lander, yes. So in fact I could just dismantle the lander at this point. It doesn't get me anything but it does get it out of the way. Yeah, that's going to be the next challenge isn't it? Is how am I going to eat and drink? I haven't yet got any means of doing that. I need to get this into a state where I can at least vacuum out this room here. So one of these, somewhere, probably this one, yeah, has got an active vent. Um, so let's... Um, guess stick it on the roof, maybe stick it on the floor, maybe stick it on the floor is easier for now. Power low. Yeah, 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 happy, 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 power low. Uh, Let's put that there, put that through there, just let that burst that pipe so that I can use it to vacuum out. Okay, uh, get that in there. Right, okay, so in theory, once I've got some iron sheets, I can now vacuum some of this, um, which will give me an unhealthy but not fatal place to uh, attempt to drink. Right, so there's another stack of ore. I'm going to turn that off for a minute because, quite honestly, that's about as much as I think we can process for now. You see we're getting some hydrocarbon, we're getting some iron, so it's working. But we are going to need a little while. Yeah, that's just blowing around. Um, on the other hand, that battery is now at least charging. So that's a start. Um, Yeah, obviously this is a uh, very different approach than you would take on a normal start where you'd be getting your solar panels down and you'd be out there mining for your uh, metals. Um, there are some deposits, but um, they are fairly few and far between. Um, so this is a different sort of playthrough that's going to be all about obviously making sure there's enough power to keep this sort of equipment running. Um, and just trying to then get to a, some sort of state of uh, self-sufficiency in this very, very cold environment. 
minus 187 and it gets colder when a storm comes um, so one more unit of dirty ore, at least this is processing nice and fast as soon as this finishes I'm going to shut this down and open it see what I can smelt um, obviously in this kind of atmosphere smelting gold is also going to uh, cause a, a bit of burn off the same way as it does on Vulcan um, so that's just something to consider uh, right oh, I should open that I'm going to chuck that in there so it can start doing its thing and then hopefully shortly this will start throwing them out we'll get the iron in there we'll get the hydrocarbons in there everyone will be happy or something meantime I've at least now got a charged battery Now that's a surprise, I thought that would flame off, but it didn't. On the other hand, I have now got some raw materials. Let's call that some progress, I think. Uh, so let's try and get some iron sheets done so that I can close these doors up. neither power nor materials to waste at the moment so I'll do that and oh, actually I thought I needed two for each and I need one so I said neither power nor materials to waste I have just wasted some there we go look at that how beautiful um, you can see even though that's burning it's still minus 170 in here um, the atmosphere is very very thick right okay I'm going to set that inward and I'm going to uh, have I got water on me yes I have run that vent that's gonna pop that pipe um, which is just fine keep going come on there we go and you see the external pressure dropping away and then hopefully in a second it will hit actually hit zero and then it will not be minus 188 outside my suit maybe inwards very limited come on oh there we go let's just snow out some uh, volatiles right there we are the temperature is now nil out there and nil means I can safely ish do this. Pressure critical, temperature critical, oxygen critical. I mean, clearly that's not healthy, right? But on the other hand, I'm not dead. And if we open that, that will probably gas off way straight away. There we go. Actually, that was a little bit stupid because all of those have come towards me. And oh, there we go. Fun and games. Right. Anyway, you get the idea. Right. Um, we'll lock that to avoid any future accidents. Um, I probably should have eaten while I was at it, but it's done now. Right, okay, so that's now our vent for now. Um, but it does the job. Right, so there we go. Um, oh no, I don't want to change that one, do I? Uh, let's turn off anything I'm not using. This is now busy churning away. You see, we've got our first copper and our first silicon coming out of the ground there as well, so that's also great. So I am going to um, basically stop there. Um, I shall be continuing this uh, series, but I thought it would be worth just doing an initial 
first half hour um, and uh, well that's 34 minutes so that's a bit more than half an hour but uh, you know I never stick to time anyway if you've watched any of my other videos so um, hopefully this looks like an interesting one to uh, watch through um, and uh, you'll be interested in me continuing it um we'll see how we get on um there's also a mars and a europa playthrough and a bunch of other uh content on the channel so i hope you've enjoyed that if you have and you're not a subscriber then uh, i'd love it if you would subscribe and you'll get notified when i release more parts of this or any of my other series um if you are a subscriber thank you very much for being a subscriber and i'll see you on the next episode.